Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lions Den with another news and commentary. It's another one. 24-year-old Robert Fuller was found hanged at a California tree. Now, police says that he committed suicide. Oh, yeah, right. But family member says that they, they killed this brother. They murdered him. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video, and I'm going to continue the rest of my commentary. There is outrage in Palmdale tonight after a 24-year-old man was found hanging. Investigators say it appears Robert Fuller committed suicide, but Fuller's family and friends aren't convinced. They think someone killed him. KCO 9's Rachel Kim has the details. A large group of people came here to Palmdale City Hall to attend a news conference regarding the death of 24-year-old Robert Fuller. Here's what we know about this case so far. The LA County Sheriff's Department said on June 10th, around 3.40 a.m., a passerby saw Fuller hanging from a tree along 9th Street East, right across from City Hall. Sheriff's homicide investigators and the coroner's office responded to the scene, and the Sheriff's Department says although the investigation is ongoing and a full autopsy is expected, it appears Fuller committed suicide. Now, Fuller's family and community members, however, refute the preliminary suicide finding. We're not letting this get swept under the rug. We're going to get our own report for the autopsy and, and investigate it. Whatever we have to do to find out the truth, that's what we're going to go do. That's what we're going to do. They believe this was a homicide, some calling it a hate crime, some even calling it a lynching. They said they wanted justice and they want answers. Now, during this meeting, the crowd let city officials and investigators know exactly how they felt. Although the investigation is ongoing, it appears that Mr. Fuller has tragically died by suicide. The full autopsy. He's trying to give you the coroner's initial impression. That's, that's not so why would you put out a public statement saying that it was possible suicide and you don't have any in response to the crowd's concerns and demands, city officials said they would leave no stone unturned in this investigation, and they guaranteed transparency in their findings. Reporting from Palmdale, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You know, every time that a person, a black person, was found hanged, they always said it was damn suicide, knowing that it was not true. Look what happened in Georgia when, when they found a man hanging on a, on a bridge. They said it was suicide. Then, then in, uh, in Mississippi, they did the same thing. They found a person hanging. That was suicide. And then in another incident after that, um, in Missouri, from, uh, from, a, uh, from a Black Lives Matter activist, uh, the, uh, uh, yeah, a Black Lives Matter activist, <clears throat> her son was found hanged. In Missouri, in not that far from Ferguson. Now this story. And people are dumb. They're not stupid. They know damn well it's not suicide. A man can't hang himself. You know, this is why I said, ladies and gentlemen, that they pass it's supposed to be passing an anti anti-lynching law. But the thing of it is they want to make it suicide because they don't want to feel like, well, we got to investigate whether it's, a, 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 what's if it's lynching or a hate crime. And ladies and gentlemen, we already know that white supremacists uh, is on the, I mean, already on the rise. So when you, got, you find a brother like that, there's, there, there's no doubt in my damn mind that he was killed. He was murdered. I mean, first of all, the family feels that he's not even a, he's not even suicidal or have any suicidal tendency. So that to me is ridiculous. So y'all let me know what you think about this. Like, click subscribe and remember to click the notification bell for all the news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions and signing off. Deuces.